In this video, we'll take a look at the Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML, and its role in authentication and authorization. Now, for starters, SAML is an open standard, so it can be used by any identity provider and or service provider to facilitate secure data exchanges where authentication and authorization are concerned, and it supports features such as single sign-on to provide seamless access to multiple environments using only a single set of credentials. Now, it's primarily designed for web applications to centralize authentication and enhance the user experience, but it's part of a protocol agnostic framework, so it's widely adaptable across many different platforms and service providers, which makes it a common choice for hybrid cloud or multi-cloud implementations. As for its architecture, the authentication process itself using SAML always involves an identity provider and a service provider. The identity provider is responsible for managing user accounts, authenticating them and certifying their access permissions. And the service provider is an application or service that relies on the identity provider to provide user verification to grant the appropriate level of resource access. Now, this is all done through what are known as assertions, which themselves are secure XML-based documents that include the attributes of the user that are required by the identity provider to ensure their identity is valid. Just as a simple example of that, you would provide a value such as an email address to indicate who you are, then something like a password to prove that you are in fact the owner of that value. Binding protocols are then used to determine how SAML messages are transmitted, such as by HTTP POST or redirect operations, and the metadata provides a structured description of how communications should occur between the identity and service providers, including any certificate usage or endpoint URLs. An organization might choose to implement SAML if they're looking to simplify their access management environment by configuring features such as single sign-on to reduce credential fatigue and administrative overhead, or they might want a more centralized authentication platform to reduce the risks associated with authentication, such as phishing attacks, by simply reducing the number of authentication requests. SAML can also enhance productivity by eliminating login disruptions, facilitating more efficient operations, and it provides a strong compliance framework for organizations who might have to adhere to regulations such as GDPR or HIPAA by offering transparent and auditable access management methods. It reduces the load on your IT personnel due to its streamlined user provisioning capabilities and can scale easily and consistently as your environment grows as well. Practical applications of SAML include configuring single sign-on for organizations that use separate services, such as Microsoft 365 and other non-Microsoft software as a service applications, such as Salesforce. Configuring secure customer portals for clients who need to manage their accounts or access various support services. Higher education environments where students and faculty are managed in separate directory services can access and share the same resources. Cloud service integration for common platforms such as Amazon Web Services, Google Workspace, and Microsoft Azure can be configured with SAML. And government agencies that require interagency collaboration to classified systems or data can do so securely even across diverse systems or platforms. However, like anything, there can be challenges, including integration complexity, which may require advanced skill sets and detailed process documentation to overcome. And no protocol is 100% effective nor 100% secure, but updates are always being developed to reduce vulnerabilities, so be sure to apply all updates to minimize risk. And if there are any service disruptions with the identity provider, you could experience downtime. So configure your provider with redundancies and failover mechanisms to ensure higher availability. Interoperability issues may arise between the identity provider and the service provider, but adhering to all best practices should yield more effective results. And lastly, token security can be enhanced by using options such as short-lived tokens with encryption to both enhance the reliability of your authentications and reduce the risk of exposure. 
So if you're in an organization that is considering a more centralized and standardized approach to authentication for web applications or across different environments, be sure to consider using SAML as a solution.